As you well know, this site was not chosen at random. It was selected by Laura and Ned, not just for the beauty of the place, but for what it means to each of them and their relationship and globally what this place means for all of us. This is a place where Laura and Ned have been with each other without distractions, able to center, able to just be with one another. They come away in awe of creation and they leave feeling more centered and renewed and nourished. Right now, we invite you to center yourselves and engage all of your senses and connect to the sights and the sounds and the smells and the feel of this place. Laura Michelle, you've given me life's greatest gift, love. It is the greatest honor of my life that I get the chance to promise myself to the person that I can call my greatest friend. Three years ago, we were just beginning a chapter in our relationship that proved to be a tremendous hurdle, long distance. While you stayed in Ohio, I moved back to Boston. What wasn't planned was how long we'd be doing the long distance for. What also wasn't planned was how much our love grew while being a thousand miles away from each other. It didn't take long for me to realize that if we conquer through this chapter, we could do anything. A year later, you moved to Boston, and although it closed the door of the long distance chapter of our relationship, it opened up a new one for you. Being away from your family, your home. Every day, I've watched you love them, support them, learn from them, teach them, and care deeper for them than I've ever seen anybody care in my entire life. You showed this ferocious love for your family that I didn't know could exist. I know it's been such a challenge, but it's been the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I vow to bring that kind of love to, to you and to our family, to fiercely dedicate my heart to you, no matter where we are or where, what circumstances we're in. I promise to be your home as you are mine. The pages of this journal are filled with the most intimate and sacred moments in my life. It holds my wildest adventures, sings all my joys, and comforts all my sorrows. It cradles my heart, protects it, shares it, challenges it. Every time ink has hit these pages, my life has been completely transformed. Therefore, it only seems God's plan all these years was to reserve these last few pages for you. Today marks the start of what will be a happier life with you. A life of excitement and adventure, a life of endless laughter and smiles, a life of love that only seems to grow stronger as the days go by. As husband and wife, I know we'll be able to accomplish anything and overcome any challenges that stand in our way. I promise through each stage of life that we move through together, I will cherish you, challenge you, inspire you, dream with you, believe in you, and support you as your best friend and now as your husband. You bring out the very best of me. You're such a gifted, strong, beautiful woman, full of so much spirit. 
All I have in this world I give to you. I promise to hold and keep you, comfort and protect you every day. I vow to become one with you, leaving myself in the past and embracing my new self as your husband. From this moment on, with you at my side, I promise to always live by the vows I make today. I promise to put your happiness before my own. I promise to give you the best future I can and will love you whether we're rich or poor, healthy or sick, young or old. I pledge to hold these promises dear to my heart for the rest of my life. Before you I stand at my most vulnerable, vowing to love you truly. Today I vow to join you in perfect harmony as we step forward in this journey and to let God be the light to illuminate that path. I vow to speak to you softly and to listen to you loudly, to look upon you with eyes of understanding and to sit with you in silence and embrace the infinite distance that exists between us. I vow to be your past, your present, and your future, to be your constant and to love you always in all your forms. I vow to let home reside in our hearts as husband and wife and to fill my heart with the Holy Spirit so as to continue our journey in a marriage centered in Jesus Christ. But ultimately, I vow to love you in such a way that you are free. Free to grow, free to change, free to explore, to move mountains and to sail across oceans. Today and always, I vow to provide a love to you that allows you to become the man and the husband you were meant to be within God's eyes. To the support and encouragement you receive from your friends, family, and community. To strength and growing together as one and flexibility in guiding one another to your truest selves. To be there for one another in every moment of need and celebrating all of life's joys. And to weathering stormy seas, new puppies, <laughs> and all the chaos it brings as well. <laughs> we wish many peaceful canoe trips happy hikes up mountain trails, and endless adventures as you build a life together. Through it all, we hope you continue to lean on those you've invited to celebrate this weekend with you. We love you both and are grateful for the family you created today. Cheers. Cheers to Mr. Cheers. and Mrs. Breen. of everything I thought I knew about love and then show me the depths of its grace. The sincerity in your eyes and patience of your tongue broke down my barriers and lifted me into my most authentic self. You opened your heart to me and all, without hesitation and in it I found refuge. In it I found freedom. So here in this moment Amongst our family, our friends, and our Holy Father's creation, our journey begins as husband and wife. As closing, again from author Brian Doyle, 
We are graced and blessed to be here, and we are especially graced to be asked to witness and celebrate the love of two people we cherish. To be asked to be with them on the day they dive into life together, not knowing where it'll take them, is a gift from them that no one can measure. We will savor this day. We will enjoy every moment of it. We will remember it for years to come. But most of all, we will remember that on this day, Laura and Ned shared with us the joy and prayer of their love. And there's no greater gift than that. <laughs> so, Mr. and Mrs. Breed, I invite you to close the ceremony with a kiss. <laughs>